Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bike Windy DIY Auto. And today is a cold day, getting ready to go on the road and look what I have, a flat tire. Now, I don't have time to get the spare out, nor I have to call the record to take it up to the uh, tire repair shop. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it myself. And uh, let me show you how I go about that. Well, these are the tools that I'm going to use to uh, repair the tire. I need an air compressor tire repair kit. I need a pair of dikes to cut the plugs once inserted. A tire pressure gauge to make sure the right amount of air pressure gauge is actually installed in the tire. And the soap and water to check for leakage. That's the only tools you need for um, plug your tire, trying to locate the leaks on the tire. Okay guys, so first I'm going to uh, remove the tire from the vehicle and then I'm going to inflate it and then search for leakage and then I go from there. So let's get into it. First, I placed the jack underneath the frame of the vehicle, and then I connected the extension to it. Okay, guys, just for safety, before raising the vehicle, make sure that emergency brake set and a pair of blocks on the rear wheel of the opposite side, where it's over here. Now here, I placed the block on the front and forward of the rear wheel here guys just in case if the emergency brakes fail and the vehicle falls off the jack at least i have secondary support to prevent the vehicle from rolling back mm -hmm. so just for information here okay guys so now i raised the vehicle high enough where i can take the wheel off i am now going to uh place the jack support the jack stand underneath the frame just for safety here so So now the jack support is in place and the vehicle is high enough where I can now remove the tire off the vehicle. Then I can go ahead and pump air in it and check for that leaks. So here I go. Okay, now I can remove the tire from the vehicle. Okay guys, so now the next step I will be doing is inflate the tire. Um, to do that, I need compressed air. So here's the compressor. This one here I purchased from Walmart. So I will be using this to inflate the tire. And the tools you're gonna to need to repair this tire is a tire kit, which is this guy right here. Purchase it from AutoZone. And here's the tire gauge to make sure that I insert the right amount of air pressure when I repair this tire. And this is a pair of dikes. And what I will be doing with this dikes is after I plug the tire, I will have to cut it, the excessive um, plug to make sure it flushed with the tire. So here I am I'm going to inflate the star here. Okay, after the tire is inflated, now I can use some soap and water and search for the, if there's any nails or where the leak's coming from. Now let me check to see if I can find where this leak is coming from. Check around the, the rim area. Check on the other side. I can figure out where this leak is coming from. The 
this guy here. Okay, guys, here's the leak. It's right here. Right there. So now I found where it's leaking from. I probably can get away with plug this tire right here. It's right at the edge of the flat surface. If it was down below, I would not be able to do it because it recommend you cannot plug the tire on the side because that's where pressure actually um, develops here while the tire sits on the vehicle. But for right here, I can get away with it right there. So that's where the leak is, right there. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the tire kit. There's an expansion or an expander in there where I can actually expand in this hole. And then I can go ahead and use the needle and insert the plug and then that should do it. So that's the leaks right there, guys. So let's get into it. There's your leakage right there, right there. Okay, guys, so here's the leak right here, and this is your expander. I'm just gonna open the hole just wide enough. And the purpose for the expander is to make enough room where I can use the needle and the plug makes it a lot much easier. Then I'm gonna push it down and bring it back up like making a tie internal and bring it back up and then that should do it. So now I have the hole wide enough. Now I can go ahead and thread this needle here. So what came in the kit, these plugs, the cement, the rubber cement to put over the plug and I can go ahead and thread the needle. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and thread it like that. Let's make it equal. Just like that. Then I can go ahead and put the rubber cement on the plugs. And then go ahead and There we go, it's now plugged. I can go ahead and cut it and I can cut the excess plug that's hanging out here. And don't worry about the, ex the extra pieces hanging out guys because the first couple turns or let's say the first 10 turns, what's gonna happen is the excess piece here is gonna actually flushed with the surface. So this is no problem here. So now I plugged it, the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to uh, inflate the tire again and make sure I inflate it to the right amount of air pressure then I can go ahead and check, make sure there's no extra excessive, uh, and make sure that there is no leaks after plugging it. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, turn on the air compressor and bring the pressure back up to where it was. Now I plug the tire and I inflated it to 36 PSI. 36 PSI. So now I got the right amount of air pressure. I can go ahead now and check the plug. Make sure that there is no leaks. See, this is where the plug is, nice. And at the same time, I can go ahead and check the rest of the tire, make sure that there's no other leaks that I did not discover. Okay, now this tire is plugged, inflated, and ready for reinstallation. Now guys, just for information. Now, if I were working at the tire shop and a customer comes in with a uh, leakage 
right here. I maybe would have sold he or she a tire because it's so close to, but because it's my vehicles, I can get away with it. Besides, this tire here is in the back, so that's good for me. Okay, that's just for information. Now I can go ahead and reinstall the tire. Okay guys, so now the tire is installed and um, good to go. Okay. okay guys, thank you to uh, support another video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stay warm and stay safe. Have a happy new year. Thank you much. Bye-bye.